Hello everybody and welcome to the Hornet Warrior channel. Uh, I'm coming to you today to give you an update on the bald-faced hornet nest that um, I relocated here to my clotheslines um, over the last week. It's continued to be pretty cool in the area and um, I think our big nest over here, I think it's about finished. Um, there's not many hornets left in it at all. There's some, but not many. Um, and then the one here on the opposite side uh, has still has hornets in it. Uh, it's pretty active. Um, I just was here putting up these the clothesline uh, lines here that were on it and they, they were coming right out the minute I moved it. So they're, they're pretty, pretty active yet over here and they've been building on the nest quite a bit. Um, but I'm gonna take this nest down and I'm gonna cut it open and just trying to, or kind of give you a bird's eye view of the inside of the nest um, and what's left inside of it. And I'll try to tell you a little bit about the comb inside of it as well. Um, so give me a minute here, I'm gonna take it down. Some that are coming and going from it, yeah, out the back side of it. So, here we go. Here's the nest, it feels pretty light, so I don't think there's a lot in it. Right there, one one. I'm going to set it down over here on the table and uh, we're going to take it up and I got a knife I'm going to cut it open and we'll see what's inside of it. see a whole lot of activity in here. Um, right here is the bottom cone that was detached from the upper cone. It's usually attached to it. And there was a smaller piece of cone that was attached to that. I think from back when it fell down, um, this one probably got detached so I can see that there's a whole lot of hornets that had started to emerge from here. They're fully developed, but yet they're dead. I see one over here that's moving around that is still coming out of it. Um, perhaps the either from the fall it took a couple weeks ago or just the cold has gotten them to the majority of them there's a couple there's another one right here that's still alive and I think probably the ones that we're seeing still coming and going from the nest uh, are ones that have emerged out of the cold See they're flying around a little bit. Probably a little disturbed that their home just disappeared on them. That looked like a, a big female. And then you can see the size of the comb that is within the 
done this. So, we'll tear it back. Looks like there was a total of four layers in here. And I think I, think I have a queen um, right here. I don't know where she just went, but I seen her. She was trying to get away. Or maybe right there is an earwig too. An earwigs will take over a nest, um, and they'll kill kill the hornets. And eat all the larvae. I don't know where that big. got away on us. I don't see her at all. Funny. I was hoping to show you that They're extremely large. Uh, I know it was a female. Maybe she climbed back, back into this nest. Okay, there's quite a few over on this side. Yeah. Right here. I think that's her. There, yeah, there's still quite a few in here. Quite a few. Extremely large. And then these are smaller, probably ones that have just emerged out of this nest. So I had to take over the camera. I had to get my girlfriend away from the situation. She doesn't have a suit on. Of course I do. Um, there's quite a few more in here than I thought there was. And uh, they started to fly and started to bounce off her hands and whatnot. So she had a hoodie on, thank goodness. But So basically, what we have here is these upper sections you see here these are worker combs you see the size of the uh, cells they're they're a bit smaller than for say these and that there these here these are all uh, queen combs or or the females were where the the queen was laying eggs and all these would become uh, a female or a, or a new queen for next year. So, as we're taking this down, this will probably be one of the last videos that we do on these. Basically, you've got that's all of the nest. And then what will probably happen now because I tore that down, they will probably come over and get on this nest. And again, this nest is pretty active yet. Um, they, they closed it all up. And I'll show you the bottom. And they're still building on it. So, from last week's video, there's quite a difference. And again, they're they're just really super, 
super fast at building up to protect themselves from the cold. And I actually wonder if some of them had came out of the nest we just tore apart and came over and went into this one and started building together. I actually wonder if maybe the queen could be in this. Suddenly, very unhappy with me tapping on it. They're coming out and immediately are attacking me. You can see, I'll turn around, you can just see them kind of scurrying around me, getting at my mask, trying to sting me. situation okay with that said you know uh, uh, we'll come back uh, next week and give you another update on this one as long as it uh, continues to flourish and they continue to survive on this uh, we are going to get down into the 50s every night this week so it's it's hard to say how much longer it'll actually last but either way it'll be interesting uh, i want to thank everybody for tuning in and please as always uh like comment share and subscribe to the channel of course uh, i do want to tell you too that uh, um, it is getting late in the year i haven't had too many calls for um, taking down nests over the last week so I'm probably going to be transitioning the channel and uh, doing some like fall videos um, maybe of uh, uh, fall colors and uh, maybe some hunting and some things like that to keep the channel going here through the winter um, so kind of change it up and keep things going for you giving you um, some other content i'm getting just mauled by these guys they are super super angry right now all right we're gonna go ahead and get on off of here and let these guys calm down and get back to the nest Thanks again for tuning in, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Thank you.